Hello friend, I'm Jen, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. Let's talk about the five things that I suggest you do before you ever start a podcast for your business. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but I have actually tried to talk potential podcasters out of starting a podcast. Why would I try to talk a potential client out of starting a podcast? Have I lost my mind? No. Producing a top-notch podcast that is going to serve you and your audience well can be challenging. Here is my list of five recommendations of actions that you take before you invest a boatload of time and money into starting your own podcast for your business. I've even created a companion workbook to go along with this episode to help you really take a deep dive in and do the work. If you are serious about starting your own podcast, go to brassybroad.com and download the workbook. Now let's talk about these five actions you need to take. Number one, listen to a bunch of different podcasts. I know it sounds like a total no brainer, but there are people that want to start podcasts because they've heard it's a really good idea and it's something they should do for their business, but they have no concept of what a podcast actually is and how to listen to it. So if you've not actually listened to a podcast, I suggest you download the Apple podcast app or radio public is another fantastic app for listening to podcasts on either Android or iOS devices. And I love Castbox because I really like the search feature in Castbox. So there are some podcasting apps to get you started. Now, what podcast should you listen to? Well, I would definitely try to listen to some podcasts in your business niche, but don't get stuck just listening to people that are talking about the same thing that you want to talk about. Go outside of that. Listen to storytelling podcasts, listen to interview podcasts, listen to podcasts with just a solo host that are sharing ideas with you. Listen to as much as you can possibly listen to. And then what do you do with that information? You start making notes, start writing down, what you like about the host, what you don't like about the host, what are they saying that resonates with you? What turns you off? Rate their sound quality, rate their content. Any of those things you need to be paying attention to because these are things that you're really going to want to be acutely aware of when you go to produce your own podcast. The second thing that you need to do is identify your ideal listener. Now here's a hint. Everybody is not your ideal listener as much as you want them to be and as great as your content is. If you try to produce a podcast for everybody, you know, who's going to listen, who's going to show up. Everybody's distant second cousin, nobody, nobody is who is going to be listening to your podcast. Get crystal clear on who your ideal listener is. Start thinking about things like, when would they be listening to your podcast? How much time do you think they devote to listening to a single episode? Are they listening in their car? Are they listening at the gym? What do they want to know? Why are they listening to your podcast? What problem can you solve for them? That will help you narrow down your focus. Suggestion number three is to pitch yourself to be a guest on five podcasts. Do yourself a favor and test the podcasting waters before you ever invest time and money into starting your own show. Do you even like being a podcast guest? This would be helpful information to know before you go out and buy a bunch of gear. And if you've already been listening to all those podcasts, like I told you to do earlier, then you're going to have a really good idea of what shows you might be a great fit for as a potential guest, because you're already familiar with the host and the content, and you can figure out where you might be able to fill in the gaps and really serve that host's audience. How can you best serve an audience with your unique perspective and experiences on a particular topic? Writing multiple pitch letters is going to help you get crystal clear on your message and the value that you can bring to an audience. Here's suggestion number four. This is where the rubber really meets the road. And this part is actually easier than it sounds. Just don't overthink it. Make a list of 12 problems or challenges that you could help a listener overcome in about 10 minutes. 
think about any blog post that you've written lately or any other content you have that could be turned into a podcast pretty quickly. All you'd have to do is read it. Or do an FAQ. What are the 12 most frequently asked questions that you get from clients or potential clients? Write down your 12 topics and then list three bullet points, main points that you want to make for each topic. It really is that simple. Just start with an outline and the words will come from there. Congratulations, friend. With that list of 12 topics, now you've already outlined a complete quarter's worth of weekly podcast, or you've got a 12 episode series that you can release all at once and your loyal listeners can binge till their little hearts are full and content. Step number five, record a pilot episode. Now this doesn't have to be super fancy. Just recording a pilot episode gives you something tangible that then you can go back and tweak and turn it into something fantastic. Here are three ways that you can easily record your pilot episode. Number one, use the voice memo on your phone. Number two, use QuickTime because you can record just audio on QuickTime. Or number three, use something like Zoom or GoToMeeting and record yourself. Nobody else even has to be there. The good news is that nobody else ever has to hear this recording that you've made. But if you find it tolerable, then share it with a few of your trusted advisors, get some feedback from them, and be open to any suggestions that they have on how you might improve it. Taking these five steps will get you well on your way to creating a podcast for your business that your audience will devour. I've created a companion workbook to go along with this episode to help remove any excuses you might have for not doing the work. So go to brassybroad.com, download the workbook, and get started working through these exercises. You're going to have 12 episode ideas in no time. Thanks for listening. Now get out in the world and do some good.